It's all about Jams TV right now. And listen, we have a lot of our artists that are coming in, but right now, especially, we have one of my favorite artists right now, Grammy nominated, music producer, singer, songwriter, Sketch Carry. How you doing, Erin? And a service. I'm just happy to be here. I'm, it's a pleasure. Good. Yeah. It's happy. It's definitely just happy to have you here. Thank Finally, you. to have you here in this seat, in this room, so we can, you know, we can chat it up, we can talk a bit. Yeah, man, good vibes, mm -hmm. you know. We, we family. We, you know how the team goes. Exactly. Because I know yeah. you've been on the, been on the grind for a while, been getting the music out, been yeah. just on this entire music journey for a long time. Definitely, absolutely, and it's a, it's a process, mm -hmm. you know. But you know, we still going, we still grinding, and we yeah. still going to the top. So we, it never stops. You so know? good. So I want to know exactly where did you start? Did you start off producing first? You start off singing. You kind of start off writing, but wasn't sure. Like, how did it all start for you? Well, it actually started off. I actually started making beats. Mm -hmm. Actually, um, I was probably seventeen. Yeah, around that that age, I started making beats. Uh, Play with Fruity Loops, that's what it was called back yeah. then. Um, <laughs> it's been a while. It's, it's been, been a while, while. <laughs> yeah. And then afterwards, um, I branched off into another program called Reason. Mm -hmm. um, I was introduced to by Zoltan Johnson. Oh. He's also mm -hmm. a crazy producer. And yeah. Rick was on it too, my brother Rick Carey. Mm -hmm. um, and that's, that's what I've been doing for a couple of years. And I fell in love with Reason. And, um, mm -hmm. you know, I was introduced to Pro Tools, learning how to record. Uh, learn how to mix, master, all those things, um, yeah. play it into it. And um, yeah, I, yeah, if it, it's, it's a whole package. Mm -hmm. So that's what I pretty much was into. Okay, so you start off with the beats. Yes, beats first. Uh huh. Then what we going to next? After the beats, uh -huh. I started uh, playing keys, okay. piano, mm -hmm. learning okay, keys, talented. learning chords. Modern thank talented. You. Thank you, thank you. And also my father, he's a uh -huh. guitarist, so he taught me how to play the guitar. So, okay, wow. you know, so I've been learning all of those instruments yeah. and um, trying to harness my sound and just, mm -hmm. you know, get better with my creativity. Okay. And after that, I branched off. I, I went into the singing. Mm -hmm. So I, I really didn't know I could really like no? sing like that. So really. you didn't know you had the vocals like early on in life. You, you know, figured it out later on. Yeah, I, I, I had to learn later on that I actually had something, you oh, know. Wow. Um, so what made you like, I don't know, just probably wanted to get into singing? So you I could just, start figuring out, okay, well, this is now what I want to do. Yeah, well, you know, it, how it started, like, my dad, he's a singer as well. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I listened, listened to him a lot, singing. Um, I also grew up in the church, so mm -hmm. my family on, on that side, full yeah. Christian, full singers. Everybody. The best, just, they sang us. Just a, just so, a family full of talent, that's all it is. <laughs> Yeah, you know, you got, you got yeah. your, 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 you know, the uh -huh. other side as well, but definitely, you know, family full of singers. So mm -hmm. I just was uh, trying to perfect my craft and yeah. I just fell in love with singing and, you know, still, still trying to get better at that as well. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, I, I started to for, have a passion for R&B. I loved yeah. R&B. Um, I loved Michael Jackson, listened yeah. to him a lot. Uh, That's your inspiration. He's definitely my inspiration. My yes. father, also my father's my inspiration. Mm -hmm. So, you know, all of that played into who I am right mm -hmm. now. And, and it started from what age? Like I guess at 17. And then mm -hmm. when I started singing, it was like 18. Yeah. You know, for Like at what age did you really get into, into like it? making beats and everything? Yeah, like that was the age, 17. So that's when I started okay, making everything. beats. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So mm -hmm. pretty much, you know, I... Tried to master all of my talents, mm -hmm. and um, I tried to uh, make it sound as just sonically make everything yeah. work, you know. So okay. that's 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 why I I became this uh, let the lady say mastermind. So. Yeah, I mean that's that's exactly what you are though. Really? You got to give yourself yeah. a pat on the back for it. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> you thank you, to, thank you, thank you. I'm saying especially to be just so focused right now, and because there's a lot in the business. Besides yeah, just the music. <laughs> it's the business. A lot of distractions. Yeah, it's yeah. distractions as mm -hmm. well. Yeah. But, you know, it's a hustle. It's a grind. Once you love something, you, you go yeah. for it and you just keep pushing and excelling no matter what. No matter the downfalls, mm -hmm. there's going to be downfalls. Yeah. Um, there's going to be times where you'll be like, I can't believe. Mm -hmm. Why am I still here? Why feel yeah. like I stuck? You know? Yeah. And you just. And you feel like you're supposed to be further because you've been in it for so many years. So. Yeah, sometimes it's like that. Uh, and then know. the connections that you have. So, how right. many all of them you already worked with? 
Well, I worked with Jack here. Um, mm -hmm. uh, well, let's let's go before that. Okay. I actually um, I worked with Carrie Hilson. Mm -hmm. um, oh. Yeah, I worked with Carrie. Uh, shout out to Carrie. Uh, mm -hmm. We did a, uh, a song called Elevator. Uh -huh. um, it was at Jerry Wonder's studio in New York. Mm -hmm. It was it wasn't released. Yeah, it's, it's so it sucked that mm -hmm. it wasn't released because that was gonna be a banger. Yeah. But you know we made that connection and um, yeah. I just you know I still to this day talk to her and see yeah. how she's doing this stuff. That's so bad. That. <laughs> who, else so, we got? who else we got? On the uh, we got Jack here. Mm -hmm. I produced. Uh, the Cure album, I produced maybe like five, six songs oh, wow. on there. Um, Set Me Free, Made in California, mm -hmm. um, Still Remains. Uh, what else is? Oh, Life We Live. That's the single. Yeah. That was the single. Yeah. And, you know, it was amazing. Like all these bangers that we did together, mm -hmm. it was, you know, he flew me over to um, in Jamaica and we just vibed just like that. It was just like natural, yeah. all natural. So he's very talented. Um, very. Very. Yeah. <laughs> his voice, his voice is, is angelic. I don't uh -huh. know. He only has only one Jack. He got that voice. So. And there will always be only one uh, Jack. Only <laughs> one. Sketch, my yeah. brother. <laughs> yeah, as well man. as there will only be one sketch, Carrie. Oh, thank yeah. you, thank you, thank you. So all of you want to hear it in rain. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. But who all of you I um, work with? Because, of course, you know, you got, you got into the singing now yourself. So, of course, yeah. right now we're playing your single, Beverly. So how did Beverly come about? Well, Beverly was introduced. Um, well, is it someone in your life with the name Beverly, or you just, no? You know, oh, okay. it's just, just it's curious. Just, getting it's, it's art. It's art. Okay. You know, mm -hmm. it's just one of those records. Uh, I, I just, it was so catchy. So first, I made the beat, of course. Mm -hmm. And what happened with it? What happened is I did some melodies to it, mm -hmm. and I, I just heard Beverly in my head. Beverly, Beverly, Beverly. Tell me how you love me. Ooh. That's what. That's like. <laughs> 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 so that's what I was pretty much hearing in my head, you yeah. know. So mm -hmm. it's definitely one of those love records. Um, yeah. She is very classy. She's very sexy. Mm -hmm. She is. She's a go getter, you know. Yeah. And 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 you know she is. She's all around just mm -hmm. inspirational. Okay, so know? that's the kind of woman that you normally go for. Or that's the kind of woman you like. I I, I like go I love go getters. I love okay. women who know what they want yeah. in life, you know. That's yeah. that's like that's a hit right there for me. So, so yeah. Good. So and it's featuring your... Kanan. Mm -hmm. It's featuring Kanan for y'all. Oh, yes. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. young dude, uh, he's in his like twenty years, I think he's twenty. Yeah, mm -hmm. twenty. Young, young, talented guy. So yeah, yeah he's pretty dope. Well, good, good. So, I'm, well, I'm happy that the record is definitely playing on our station. But I really want to know, too, like, what's your creative process, you know? Okay. When, like, just putting, I'm just putting the songs together, putting the music together. Do you make the beat first? Do you then come up with the lyrics? Yeah. Okay, it goes like that. Well, okay. yeah, first it starts off with me making the beat. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes the beats will be 20 minutes. Sometimes mm -hmm. it will be five minutes. Like, yeah. it, it depends on how you're feeling. Yeah. And then later on, you know, after that, it's, it's, uh, Melodies. Uh, mm -hmm. I would record melodies, yeah. and the words would come. Sometimes I get help uh, with writers. I I reach out to certain writers to be like, hey, oh, I okay. need some. I could, I could, I, I like could use a little push because, yeah. you know, everybody. Exactly. Every, I'm not perfect. You know, yeah. I'm not the best writer, but I'm a pretty darn mm -hmm. good writer. You know, but you know, it's always good to get help from from mm -hmm. from different sources. You know, it, it it doesn't even need to be writing. It could be producers, Bang. whoever you influenced by whoever could make the song sound the best. I'm all about that at the yeah. end of the day. So. so are we looking to see a video for Beverly? Absolutely. Okay, absolutely. video is coming. And what upcoming mm -hmm. projects do you have? Well, I'm working on the EP. Um, so it'll be like five okay. songs. Uh -huh. um, it's going to be pretty monumental. Mm -hmm. And um, it's gonna, and Beverly is, is going to be on that record as well. So. Yeah. And then, you know, also uh, I have a song with Jackie that's going to be on the record. Oh, yes. Well, I was waiting for it. I was waiting to hear it. I was waiting yeah, to hear it. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I don't know if, if, if you guys are playing Up in the Clouds. Up in the Clouds. Yeah, we've been at Up in the Clouds. Yeah, you're allowed Up in the Clouds. Okay, awesome. <laughs> and then I got a song, Cranium, as uh -huh. well. Ooh. It's going to be on there. Um, it's going to be I love to see it. We're going international. Let's go. We're going Caribbean. We're Let's going everywhere. Go everywhere. Taking it everywhere. Everywhere. Okay, so. so where can people find your music right now? 
They can find me on, uh, well, everything is Sketch Carry. So mm -hmm. if you're on social media, you can just, I have a full website, www.sketchcarry.com. And you mm -hmm. can see all of my social media, all my handles uh, from Instagram, from Facebook, from Twitter. Everything is slash Sketch Carry. So you'll be able to find me pretty easy. Yeah. Uh, just want to ask you, um, just about two more questions though. So. Yeah. Just like with COVID-19 being mm -hmm. here, you know, it's been tough trying to get in the studio record. I mean, even just recording, because I'm pretty sure you probably have all your equipment <laughs> to record. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm saying more so of just being creative, you know, trying to find that headspace, at least that clear space to yeah. just write and, you know, just continuous writing and everything. Like, have you find yourself, have you find yourself like having any issues seeing that we have been in a pandemic since 2020? Well... You know, it's it's kind of interesting with that. I mean, because, you know, as a producer, mm -hmm. like, I'm always in the studio. So yeah. that's one of those situations where... You live in the studio. You, <laughs> and you, you, you live in it. So yeah. it's like, it's not really... I mean, COVID has affected mm -hmm. a lot, though, yeah. still, regardless of, mm -hmm. you know, um, sessions, clients, stuff like yeah. that, you know. But people still come in and stuff like that. So, but, yeah, like, creatively, um, I've always been producing from mm -hmm. so it really hasn't really stopped my creativity like that um but definitely yeah that's what that's what COVID I I, I kept going yeah, I kept going okay. so I, I I couldn't stop even so there were days where you know you'll be depressed you'll be gotcha. sad you'll be low mm -hmm. but you like you like I said you keep pushing through it and just because I'm human I'm not I'm not perfect yeah. you know I know people probably betray me to see you know they, they see him from the outside that sketch yeah. look like he got it he looked he got like, it going on Got to figure I, it out. I, I making, figure making out. the moves, like, you're making I'm the steps. I'm perfect, bro. Yeah. Like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just like you, mm -hmm. trying to work yeah. through, through the muck and, and do the mm -hmm. best that I could. You know. Mm -hmm. So well, I'm keeping it real. I understand that. You have yeah. to. It's very keeping important it to keep it real and be true to yourself. Yeah. But just one more question. So yeah. like, just basically, of course, you no know, coming from the Bahamas, you're already in the Caribbean. You've already worked with phenomenal artists internationally. So it's like, what would you tell you know someone coming from the Bahamas? Because we're we're small, <laughs> I'm just saying, small country in comparison yeah. to a lot of places in the world. Yeah. What would you tell someone coming from here, like an artist, a producer, a writer coming from here and wanting to go abroad? Like, how would you um, motivate them just to encourage them? Well, definitely. You know, if you have a talent, you have a passion for it, you, you continue to strive for it. Don't, mm -hmm. don't, it doesn't matter what, like, what people think, you know, you know, you get you get the best out of what you can, you know, learn yeah. about the music industry, learn about publishing, learn mm -hmm. about all of these things in the industry so you could further your education behind that. Um, also, you know, influences, if you, if you want to work with certain people, you know, you yeah. can reach out to them and say, hey, yeah. you know. They're tangible. It's, they're tell who's, who's got the talent, who's got the skills, yeah. you know. It's like, if you want to learn, you know, that's, that's what, what you do, you know. So, yeah. um, so definitely, I'd say for the young cats who are trying to get out there, like keep striving. And if you, you know, if you want to reach out to me, you can reach out to me, and I'll definitely be able to help you guys as well. So I'm all for 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 making my people yeah. excel and get. Be, I want I want us all to win. Yeah. I want us all to win. So I understand the, that struggle, and there's mm -hmm. been a lot of there's been a lot of young people who like don't know how to do this, and yeah. they they scared yeah. they. They nervous and mm -hmm. they need the help and the push. So you know, just help yeah. to keep striving and also uh, out of all of that, keep God first. That's the first thing. Actually, mm -hmm. I should have said that. Keep God first in all of this, and it's gonna play out. It's definitely gonna play out. God is gonna take you to exactly so where you quickly, need to go. Just tell me what what motivates you to keep pushing. Um, first thing. Um, I'd say, you know, like I wake up, I pray, affirmation, I'll, mm -hmm. I'll start my day like that. Yeah. Um, I like to work out. That, yeah. that definitely okay. motivates yeah. me. <laughs> yeah. It keeps it going. It keeps it, it going. It keeps me going, you know, like you know, keep your mind right, uh -huh. keep your body, keep your soul, mm -hmm. mental space, keep everything right, you know. Yeah. So, and then, you know, influences, like listening to stuff that you love to listen to, doing mm -hmm. things that you love to do. Dang. That's how, you know. You have to. Yeah, you got yeah, to. Try to Aaron. find different ways to keep you determined. Absolutely. Because it ain't easy in the music business. It's not easy. It's not. It's right. not. Good. Anything else you want to say before you head on out? Um, yeah. If anyone wants to work with me, you know, you can reach out to your boy, mm -hmm. Sketch Carry. Um, I'm available. I'm here. And just keep striving. Keep keep going for it. You got the gifts. You got, you got it. 
use your heart, just keep pushing. That's it. Positive messages right there from the Grammy nominated sketch carry, <laughs> music producer, singer, songwriter. Thank you for having, well, thanks for coming here with us, Jams TV.